In the world of automotive and diesel technicians, there's becoming more and more tools that make our job easier. And one of them is the 3H drive impacts that they come out with. They're getting more and more power. And we're gonna do a comparison test today on two different 3H drive guns. One being the Milwaukee 3H drive and the other being the Matco 3H drive. So we're gonna see what they've got, see if they've got that nut busting torque. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, Leverage TV, and if we are meeting for the first time, I'm Trent, and today we're going to be doing a comparison test on the Matco 3H Drive Impact and the Milwaukee 3H Drive Impact. And what I've got set up here is basically, would it would be the same thing as like a wheel stud on a semi truck. I've welded up a little piece here where it will hold nice and strong for me to torque it. Also, we're gonna be using an adapter. So I know there's gonna be some torque loss and I know that there's gonna be a few variables like the deep, the deep socket. I understand that'll put a little strain on it too. Has to be a half inch drive because it's an inch and 5 16 lug nut. So, and I'm not sure if they even make a inch and 5 16 for a 3 h drive. Let me know in the comments maybe. So both companies rate these guns at 600 foot pounds of breakaway torque. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna work at 400 foot pounds and work our way up to 600 foot pounds. That way we can see if one struggles or one doesn't struggle. Um, the Matco has a different kind of a hammer inside of it. It hammers a lot harder, but not as quick. The Milwaukee seems to have a smaller top hammer with a quicker rapid breakaway so i'm curious to see what happens so let's check it out so get you popcorn get you a mountain dew or a water and let's see what these bad boys have got all right guys as you can see here they're both charged up and ready to go and to be torquing these bad boys i'll be using this three quarter precision torque wrench goes from 200 to 600 foot pounds of torque so we're going to go ahead and start off at about 400 all right, we got it on 400. We're gonna start with the Milwaukee. Okay, so it struggled just a little bit, but not much. We're gonna move to the Matco. Alright, we're gonna move up to 450. Okay, we got it on 450. Start with the Milwaukee again. Move to the Matco. Okay, we're gonna move up to 500. 500. We're gonna start with the map, the Milwaukee again. Okay, 
500 foot pounds, baby. Here we go. Five fifty. Five We're gonna start with the Milwaukee, but I'm not gonna hammer more than about ten seconds. Five fifty for the Matco. Here we go. Not what I expected. We're going to move to six hundred. The final torque of six hundred foot pounds. I told myself I was only going to do this test once and I was going to get it right. 600 foot pounds, ladies and gentlemen. The Milwaukee, 600 foot pounds. All right, Matco, it's your turn. Final test with the Matco, 600 foot pounds. This torque wrench only goes to 600 foot pounds, so maybe on a later date we'll get a stronger torque wrench, maybe test them out a little bit more, but that surprised me right there. As far as the torque output on both of the guns, they're pretty even. The hammer mechanism's a little different in both guns, but as far as the price range, it's a lot different too. My Matco gun, within the first week of me using it, it had quit working when you pull the trigger, so I had to send it off for warranty. So, is the Matco worth it? You be the judge. But if you like the stuff I featured in the video, I'll put a link for it down in the description so you guys can check them out for yourself, the torque wrench and both of the guns. All right guys, I wanna thank John O'Neill and Ronald Buck for letting me borrow the Milwaukee and the torque wrench. And if you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go on ahead, hit that subscribe button. Get subscribed, man. Hit that like button if you like the video. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a good one.